The biggest mistake that I made as a dropshipper by paying for a VPS service that was pretty much useless and how you can avoid the same mistake that I made and save yourself a lot of money and time. If you're watching this video, it's because you have serious concerns about how to safely access your Facebook Marketplace account, whether you are traveling abroad within the United States, or you actually have a dedicated virtual assistant that you need to have them get access to your marketplace so they can list product research and do everything that requires to run your drop shipping business on Facebook market. If this is you, you're going to want to stay tuned all the way through this video because this advice could potentially save you hundreds of dollars. Let's get right into the video. The biggest mistake I did was using a VPN. If you are new to drop shipping and you don't want to make mistakes like the one I'm talking about inside of this video, then I highly recommend you check out my course linked down below. If I have never used a virtual private tool server uh, before. I have always used remote desktop connections, which basically what that is, is you allow someone, you know, over your internet connection to access your laptop remotely from whatever location they are in. So, however, there are some risks, especially if the VA is someone you haven't been working with for a very long time, is that you're giving them access to your entire laptop. And if this person is not trustworthy, they can actually go through all your stuff and most people do not want that. So the other way around giving someone access to your laptop is to actually go ahead and get a VPN. So what this does is that it gives you access to a virtual computer that only has access to whatever you want to give it to. So there is no personal information that belongs to you and you can just have the websites and have the accounts already logged in and that's all your virtual assistant is going to see, okay? So I thought that that was a great solution to this problem and I went ahead and bought it. So what I didn't know is that for anyone who is outside of the United States, accessing a VPS can be extremely, extremely slow. And the crazy part is, is that if you are inside the United States, the VPS connection works awesome. It works just like it's intended to. However, when you're accessing it from outside of the United States, I started to read and I started to learn that this could be a problem. Um, again, I am not an expert when it comes to cloud computing. You have maybe a way to make it faster. Let me know, let me know down in the comment section and maybe it can help someone else. Um, and maybe it can even help me too. Um, but it wasn't working for me. So that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys is that don't spend your money on a VPS. And at the end of the day, I ended up spending, you know, a couple hundred dollars on the VPS connection when I really, you know, didn't have to. And I don't want you guys to make the same mistake and spend money that you don't have. And you can pretty much take the same money and reinvest it into your dropshipping business. But if you have a fixed budget, and you need help because you want to scale your Facebook marketplace store, then I recommend that you use a remote connection. Now I myself, I'm using a Google remote desktop It's totally free. So if you're considering uh, a solution where you're going to use your laptop and give access to your virtual assistant, then I'll link uh, the Chrome extension down in the description. So it's easy for you to access and start uh, downloading and get your VA uh, working on your Facebook marketplace as soon as possible. Okay. So option number two, if you do not want to give someone access to your personal laptop, it's going to be more costly and it would involve buying a second laptop. Okay. So by buying another laptop, you can pretty much have it set up only for the information that your VA needs to access. So your supplier accounts, your Facebook Marketplace accounts, any software that you use, and that's it. You only have the laptop set up for the purpose of the um, VA accessing the computer for you know drop shipping purposes. And this option is more expensive because a, a computer can cost you a few hundred dollars. However, there are some options where you can actually get like a Chromebook which is a very you know basic laptop. That one might might cost you maybe a couple hundred dollars, so it's not as expensive. However, you know everybody has their own budget, and you gotta do what's right for you. In the beginning, I said there were pros and there were cons to giving access to a VA to your personal computer. So the con is that there's gonna be a lot of personal information. If you feel like this is not for you, make the investment. Just get the laptop. You'll have peace of mind that none of your personal information will be there 
and you feel secure that the virtual assistant won't be able to get into any of your files, information, or anything that might be saved on your personal laptop. Now, let me talk about the why this is very important. It's important because right now we're entering the busiest and most profitable dropshipping season, which is Q4. And the last thing you want to have is any kind of interruption to your dropshipping business. You know how complicated Facebook can be. They can restrict you without any warning. They can lock your account. They can just make your dropshipping life a living hell. If you're not doing things the way that you need to be doing them, part of that is how you're accessing your dropshipping account. If you don't want to experience any of these issues, then you want to make sure that you have a plan, whether it's a VPS, service which again i don't recommend or use your remote desktop connection with your own personal computer to let your virtual assistant access everything that they need so let me show you how to access the google chrome store if you do not know or never done this before so on the google search that's type in uh google chrome store or chrome web store is going to be the very first uh page result on google uh, once you're here, then you want to search for in the search box, you're looking for Google Remote. And again, this is totally free. And if you would like, I can link this also down in the description. So you want to select this application and you can see it's, um, it's trusted. It is a Google product, so you don't have to worry about any adware or any, you know, other, you know, software on top of this it's pretty clean <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click download uh, in my case i already have it installed so that's why i have the remove from chrome option but once you have it installed then at this point you want to navigate over to google remote desktop and it's going to bring you over here and let me show you what comes next. The next thing I want to share with you, if you are considering any kind of a VPS account, the one that I use is by a company by the name of Contabo. I would probably only recommend you use this if you don't have an extra laptop at home and you want to travel around the US and you want to have access to a virtual cloud computer for your own personal use. But for drop shipping, you know, obviously I would probably go with the remote access route, which is free. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, check out all the links linked down below. And if you want more drop shipping content, then check out this video linked either here or over here. And I'll see you inside.